TikTok, TikTok. It's been an actual minute since I've done 24 Live Another Day. I'm so damn sorry. It's been so damn good. And it just leaves me in that mindset of just... That's happened. And I can't change that shit. But I'm back. I'm going to basically binge review these last three episodes. And the finale is going to be next week. So, let's start off with what I left off at. 24 Live Another Day, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tragedy befalls our tragic 24 cast. Nah, I'm just joking. It, that shit don't happen. By the way, if you haven't seen the episode yet, although this is late, but if you still haven't seen it, because there's going to be spoilers. So, spoiler review coming up ahead just for you guys. Almost had him in true 24 fashion. You almost had me thinking Audrey might be president. Because that guy ain't going to be president because he's a bitch. We'll get to that later on in other episodes. Or we can always hope for President Jack Bauer. I'd vote for him. I seriously would. Now Catelyn's mad. Now you just don't made her mad. You almost had her keeping her promise and destroying the drones. But you, you, you can't fool a Stark. We're not stupid. Winter is coming. I really wish they would have used that as a joke on the show somehow. Like, just use that, use somehow in her variation of that and say winter is coming or some shit, or it's cold or something. Like, I don't know. But Jack's been playing Ace Comet. That's how he was able to maneuver the thing so easily. Kudos! He's been playing other games, and you guys still think he can't be Snake. Damn assholes. The only death that's on my head is yours, Kersplunk. It was kind of like... You snatched her son from the window, now you snatched her mama and you took her and now she's all like kersplunk and shit. I'm like, ugh. You think Jack was mad at the terrorists? He seems to get madder at the terrorists every season. And yeah, an angry Jack Bauer is not a good one, so we're just going to move on from that. Chloe's picked her side and we'll see how that works out for her later on down the line. Our enemy reveals himself and he's a dick. But can we talk about for a second how it's always, most likely always, the head of CTU that winds up to be the bad guy in the end? Like, except for, like, Bill and Chloe, I feel like everybody else has been evil. Because, you know, they have some kind of a grudge or they want to get money or something. It's like, ugh, you, meet, you really need to screen your people better. During the interview process, you should have someone who can detect lies and shit on the interview table just to see about that stuff. But this has been another episode of TV Time with Spider-Man and Miss Dark Phoenix bringing you guys 24 Live Another Day. Don't forget to come back next week for another great episode and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment, rate, and subscribe, all that awesome stuff. Comment down below your favorite things about this season and always remember through good times and bad times, always remember to geek out and enjoy your lives and I'm going to catch you guys next week.